you know people um i, I think wait we, do masai is where underwear under the shoe cuz that's a good question they do masai is or all of them in general i feel like i'm more concerned with do masai cuz i feel like a, a woman masai is coochie like the ones in the, in the in the forest like they probably don't smell like big why Oh, she eats cow blood and then she like all that period. No pineapples. I don't imagine pineapples. Going imagine the, the cow blood fusing with the period blood. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be digested by the time it ends up in the vagina. It's not like she's eating fi- uh, cow blood through a vagina. She's Some of them might be doing that as like skincare routines. Mm-hmm. Put cow blood in your vagina. But maybe they do deep them out. With cow blood around their mouth. <laughs> 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 It's like the version of pineapple. Imagine being watching this and then you realize your is being is getting cunnilingus. I feel like we've offended so many ethnicities at once. Uh, this, not, this, 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 this is probably going to lead to a class action oh, lawsuit. Dang. It's important to cover all the bases around it. This is probably like it's like it's like uh you get offended and you get offended it's like you know wait your time is coming everybody get us offended who else have, uh, who are going to be offended we haven't offended like one legged lesbians I've never seen a one legged lesbian why is that they don't have enough ambition to break the leg <laughs> <laughs> how do one legged lesbians have sex i think that's an important question and like Uh, you know there's degrees of one leggedness did she just lose a foot is it up to the knee is it like the whole fucking thing right up maybe to the maybe it's just hip? a pinky toe uh, <laughs> does that make her one legged yeah they think yeah i mean she's not full legged that's for sure i mean i don't know about it's that like I feel legged. like that's really pushing it it's like three foot you know you need a pinky toe to for stable for stability So people without <laughs> yeah. a pinky toe like have trouble standing yeah, or something. Walk, like, oh yeah, they walk like cats. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's probably the reason why in the yeah, in the yakuza they always used to cut this way yeah, off the pinky toe. Yeah, so that you you lose your ability to defend yourself in yeah. some sort of way. Wow. You lose the ability to finger your girlfriend in different techniques. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but the problem is now interesting <laughs> because you'll be like there's something the missing. <laughs> Well, at least you know, techniques are kunyonga. Looking on the positive side, if they cut off your pinky finger or your pinky toe, sorry, that you You'd never be like have... an avatar. Imagine jerking off like an avatar. Oh. How would an avatar jerk off? Their four fingers, right? It's like I feel like they just like like fucking air bend yeah. their dick, Not you know, the avatar. They to want, completion. They want from James Cameron the blue ones with the long tails. Oh, dang, I just Oh, those something. avatars. They probably use their tail. Anyway, it's enough about avatar masturbation. Hey, wait, wait. Wait, avatar must have Wait, which avatar? That's That'll the question. That'll be the name of this sh- this short. That's the question. Guys, we're actually recording, aren't we? Wait, we have a special guest today. This is Kitony. What's up? With a G, apparently. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe. And of course, you know me, the JJ. Yo, Kitony is actually a really cool fan of Think Shack. He has He's some a of big the coolest fan. stories. He comes to DMs and shares the stories. And he said he wanted to show up for an episode. So, you know, here he is. I like the history behind the name Gitonyi. Could you explain it uh, for the audience? All right. So, what happens is it's like a loan word. So, um it came from It's a loan word. That means it was loaned out. Yeah. So, apparently it doesn't mean it's the only word. Yeah, yeah so it doesn't mean like it's like a lone wolf. I guess like there are like variations land. of it across like if you look deep enough in like some other cultures you oh, find it with in cultures that's yeah. where you're looking deep enough. Yeah, because it came from to clarify. it's sort of like a tra- it's sort of like means blacksmith in such a way. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> I remember saying that was a beautiful piece of culture Jean because like yeah. it implies the Kalenjins had this sophisticated culture where they make swords. Like, Or you know, works, you know one of the coolest things I noticed is that if you actually look at like um the way so many cultures developed in Africa and around the world as well and look at the weapons they they developed as a result of their culture it's amazing how um the way uh, uh, an ethnicity thinks can determine the weapons like I I might be wrong but like throughout all the history I've read about the Zulus for example they had stick fighting no they had spears they, they had have stick at fighting. first sticks lo- Okay, I I don't know about that. But like one thing I noticed that they never had bows and arrows. It was always spears. Either throwing or like after Shaka Zulu, it was like like short spears. 
and like it used to be like a really important part of like their military strategy but they never had bows and arrows and I was like wow it's amazing that it never occurred to these people to have a way to hold projectiles but I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing I'm just saying like it's amazing how like things you ex- consider like when you think about like old like uh military weapons right. you, you imagine probably like every culture had like bows and arrows in some form so in short if you're stuck but it's not mti. true if you what so in short go na go na nayo umekula mti umekula mti umechoma mshale exactly but anyway that was just something anyway so, so uh, i don't also few, have major uh, jj i guess we have major jj and a few interesting topics okay. well not that many actually the, the big one is joy rimu is getting sentenced to death i didn't know we have a death sentence. just open the brief we have a death sentence apparently uh, but it never gets it never gets like um carried out that's the thing what do you mean explain um, to the people individuals can be sentenced to death in kenya but there has never been an execution since i don't know 19 something like 19 so all they do is say you're going to be sentenced to death and that's it no <laughs> no what happens is those guys will wish they were dead <laughs> okay <laughs> hey the thing you is guys... the death of hope no, that's no, what no, they're sentenced no, look to. at it this way um for the rest of your sentence mm. you have to be locked in a place where you get no sun at all no sun right. no daughters either <laughs> And well, then you get nothing you get no boost. Yeah, and then like they make it so you 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 yeah. you it's like you'll be buried alive in such a way. It's not pleasant. Because okay, damn. so so it's like this. Um so Kenya has not carried out an execution for over 30 years. Um thousands however remain on death row and continue to be sentenced to death due to the automatic nature of the death penalty. And in December 2017 the Supreme Court of Kenya declared the mandatory death penalty unconstitutional. Um but yeah the last death sentence was like in 1987 some guy called Ezekiel Ochuka and uh another That guy Pancreas. called Pancreas Otio Okuno. He looks like Pancreas. 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 Yeah, Otio Okuno. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's, that's an his interesting name? name. Yeah, Pancreas. I I'm about to make a really dark joke. Here. <laughs> Please do. Please do. <laughs> that name probably died with him. Have you ever heard of anyone else? It's Pancreas died with him. <laughs> exactly. Um was it if he died of pancreas failure? And these guys were executed for their role in the failed attempt to overthrow President Dangler at Moi 19. I imagine these guys are probably in the military. Mm. Um with pancreas. Was, but yeah, so like 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 every death sentence in Kenya is functionally speaking a life sentence. Mm-hmm. Um but the thing about being on death row is that if you're lucky every random jamhuri day or whatever the fuck some president might decide to pardon all the people like let's pardon all the crimes yeah you're like the fuck i wasn't expecting that like oh my god i'm free after like 50 years and then you go back and then go and beat up some child and then you go back and like well that that would be there really sad because like don't you fucking learn so why would you want to do things to most people in prison are repeat offenders oh well, yeah that's true So it's like it's just like, like something Johnson. beyond their controls like I can't help it I just need to like Fleece Johnson that booty man That booty So Joey Rowe is not going to get Fleece handled Fleece Johnson has an incentive for being a repeat offender it's just like that's the only thing he it's likes like, booty it's like booty heaven yeah. No he likes so, giving it So so Joey Rowe is not going to get uh hanged Okay so he's not I mean he's been sentenced to death yeah. but you know if the pattern continues I feel like the whole thing about like no one having been sentenced oh, sorry uh, no execution having been carried out is kind of like the 1000 days of a turkey it's like you never know you ever like you might be the first one No it's not even that it's that today might be the day it's like if you have a turkey um uh, uh, you bring it home or a chicken you know let's let's make it a little more Kenyan Or a chicken or a goat chicken <laughs> <laughs> But a chicken. Why would you want to kill a chicken? But yeah, like if you have like a chicken, right? The first day you bring it home, you feed it and it's it's very well. So the chicken's well-being is really good. It's like, oh, this guy loves me. Second day you do it. You could do that for a thousand days and chicken is really comfortable. The thousand and first day you come near the chicken coop, it's going to literally run out to meet you in fucking anticipation and that's the day you just fucking take it and slash its throat. So for the chicken, it <laughs> never knows. <laughs> yeah, it's like its well-being just keeps going up like this and then pfft, it fucking It's like, "Oh my god, you Don't you be for all these years and you just kill it. So I imagine that's how people on death row feel in Kenya is like, "Oh yeah, there's never been an execution in 30 years." It's like, "Yo, bro, when?" It like, could be know, today that the first one happens. What is this? We just don't like this nigga. 
this is killing me. Yeah. Because, like, there's never been an execution before, and, and they're like, oh, you're going to be the first one. <laughs> You gonna learn today. You gonna learn today. <laughs> what does that situation look like? You up, nigga. Uh, <laughs> okay, so like you had a hard take before this. You say you don't think the guy committed the murder. I feel like he's the most likely suspect, but uh, there was it was a big ploy. I don't want to speak too much with that. Right. Well, yeah, I swear, I think this was a big setup. It was a big yeah. setup. He's yeah. the scapegoat. So you don't think Joy killed Monica? I don't think so. He was there. Not thinking. I believe he never. And um but there's this like you know the rumors are saying that for example Monica um at the time like just around the time when she died she was already being investigated for like a money Before laundering Before go far who is uh-huh. Monica we have to start from the the one that you we know we know we know we know but we have to find facts oh, oh, yes. yes. why was she, she popular why life? was she on the live like why her Okay, what's her full name? I just realized I don't fucking know. It's uh Monica Kimani. Yeah, Monica. the most generic name. Okay, name. so what all I know is that Monica Kimani was being suspected of money laundering for a South Sudanese politician. Is there even a South Sudanese politician? <laughs> Which one is it? That's a good question because like such a generic like like obscure name. Like, a South they, Sudanese politician. A South Sudanese politician in the It doesn't even have to be a politician you in know, South Sudan. No, the of this uh, Sudanese guy comes to the side. But a politician, even politicians, ministers from Somali, it doesn't have to be a girl. It's even, a better place to splash Ghana, their uh, money. Uh, I don't know. They find Kenya safe for them to Kwanda. Kenya is the capital. Of, uh, <laughs> yeah, to squander the cash from. It's like the version of Panama. Yeah, you know. Or Tortuga. Uh, or Tortuga. Uh, well, that's so sad for Kenya. Oh, we are a tortuga. Um but yeah like the idea is so she wasn't clean herself but you know like there might have been like political uh, motivations so it, it, the rumor is that you know some powerful politician or group of politicians either used Joey to kill Monica yeah. or um there was some disagreement between Joey and them so they got Monica killed and then they framed Joey those are two possibilities Joey was a scapegoat So you don't think he killed Joey. Monica? I don't know that there's one you ignore. Mm-hmm. There is like a possibility that the lady or what was the name? This uh Jackie Marie, Jackie, Jackie Marie, Marie. Oh, Jackie. The yeah. possibility is that Jackie killed the lady. Jackie herself. The yeah, really? one that got a government yeah, job just the other day. Oh damn. Oh. Da That's a whole other weird thing, right? Like, um, if Jackie Mariba was a suspect in a murder case, and presumably she got acquitted, like, and what, now she's working in the government again. Bro. When did she even get her certificate of good conduct? Bro, this is Kenya. Who do you know? Who knows who? And yeah. who is who? You told me you told me that um, she was. Uh, oh yeah, she definitely fucking. <laughs> Dennis Itumbi. Yeah, he saw the first person. Moses Kuria. The first person next to her on that day, she was a good dead one. Dennis Itumbi. Yeah. And the the rumor around is that he might have gotten killed. We still have deep state at work. So Zaki Mariba was giving up that ass. Do we have proof of this? I kind of feel like it's going to come out as one of those things where he's just like throwing accusations. If she don't fuck, who is by the way the dark part? Ah, yes. The inside joke. Literally. Uh, what do you put on the table? There has to be something. Personally, like I kind of feel like it's 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 pointless. 